بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ و سلم علی نبینا محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد from some of the beautiful advice from our scholars like Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Abd, uh, Sheikh Muhammad Ali Imam, one of our scholars in Yemen, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, the Sheikh at Dara Hadith in Ma'bar, Yemen. May Allah preserve him and preserve all of our ulama. And he gave some very beautiful advice for regarding the issue of Jarwa Ta'deel. The issue of involving ourselves in criticizing individuals and praising individuals. And especially pertinent to critiquing one another and criticizing Ahl Bid'ah, the people of innovation and desires. So we'll read very briefly what the Imam says and try to gain some benefit from it. The Shaykh said, Hafidh Allah Ta'ala, Indeed, a gateway, a gateway to evil has been opened these days. What is it? An evil affair. It is the matter of Jarwa Ta'deel for students of knowledge. The students of knowledge are in dire need of closing this door. Nobody achieves proficiency or has the ability in relation to the subject of Jarwa Ta'deel except the one who is firmly grounded in knowledge. He is the person who is unbiased from desires, a person who accustoms himself to scrutinizing and investigating information, and scrutinizing judgments, thereby ensuing justice. A person who is accustomed to remaining distant from the wants and desires of people, being distant from seeking revenge and so forth. You will see how when a student of knowledge contends a matter with his brother, he lies upon him and he exceeds the limits against him. And we see this immensely amongst some of our brothers. May Allah forgive us in them. This is the case with a student. How about if he considers in his own eyes a person who is worthy of Jarwa Ta'deel? How will he not exceed limits? This is a calamity. I advise the students of knowledge to repent to Allah from entering into such matters and rather be steadfast upon the religion and protect that which is better for their tongues, to stop their tongues from speaking regarding matters that it is not permissible for a pe person to speak about, fear Allah and be mindful of Allah. It is not an excuse or a proof for somebody to let his tongue loose as he desires, justifying it by saying, I heard something. This is not enough. This is not enough. It has been narrated by Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever says something about a believer that is not found within him, then Allah will place him in the sweat of the people of the fire. We know this and we traverse upon this, that Jarwa Ta'deel, which the scholars of Hadith were known for, they traversed upon this way. And this was within the confines and legislation of the Sharia. For this reason, most of the people of knowledge did not enter this subject. Why? They considered it better to give precedence to being safe, and yet they are the scholars. Read about the Salaf. Consider who from amongst them occupied themselves with it. They were only the older senior scholars, and they were, only, uh, they were very few amongst the scholars. So Ahlul Sunnah, by the virtue of Allah, strive within themselves to rectify their tongues. They only speak about that which is good, about calling to Allah, in order to establish it. They only speak and advise the slaves of Allah, and Shaitan should not be allowed to play with us. Shaitan enters amongst us by means of those matters which we are not proficient in. These subjects and issues are not required from us because they are above our capacity, above our intellectual and knowledge-based ability. I only say this as an advisor. Those people who occupied themselves with this subject matter without any confines and limits, they only harm themselves. Due to this, I advise that you do not become a lesson for other people. 
You should take a lesson from people and not be a lesson for the other people. It is required from you that you take care of rectifying your tongue. In this dar, and then the Sheikh is speaking about his uh, markas, dar, uh, dar al-Hadith and Ma'bar. He says, may Allah protect it. We always advise our students to learn about the correct manners with scholars, with students, with colleagues, and with friends. Manners such as decent words, good statements, remaining distant from passing judgments on people, remaining distant from being hasty in relaying information that has not been verified, and remaining distant from stupidity in this. Rather, you should be characterized with composure and being calm. Why do we seek knowledge? Do we seek knowledge so we become chaotic? Or do we seek knowledge so that we can take some benefit from it? May Allah bless you and may He guide us all. This is immense benefit from this great Shaykh, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless us to internalize it and practice it. And may Allah forgive us for our many sins, for falling into mistakes about criticizing individuals, especially if we don't have the right and the knowledge and the ilm and the fiqh to do so. And may Allah forgive us all and give us guidance to that which is correct. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم